when you're doing the binomial expansion. Um, I think one thing is key important is the Pascal's triangle. Remember, you can keep on adding the rows. The sum of them is going to give you that term. They each and every row starts with um, starts with one. And the way that I kind of had you guys remember them is the second term kind of tells you the row for that power. Right? So this is going to be our row of our coefficients of our factors, our scalar multiples. Those are not the coefficients. We also need to remember on binomial expansion, the first term always starts to the highest power. So 2x to the fifth, right? And the second term starts, starts at 0. And then they go, first term goes in descending order, second term goes in ascending order. And again, the question is only asking us to get to the third term, right? But we got to also take these as our coefficients, 1. So then we do the next one, 2x to the fourth. And then this would be y to the first. Bring the 5 in there. And then our last term is plus, let's put a 10 there. And this would be 2x cubed y squared. Now I believe all the answer choices all have, um, oh, they don't. So we just need to figure out what that term is. So when I multiply this, just remember, guys, that 2x cubed is 2x times 2x times 2x, which would be 8x cubed. And then we get 80. And that is the answer that they're looking for, which was D. Okay.